colors that I'll be using in this tutorial I'll be using Canson 200 GSM watercolor paper. I just bought this in National Bookstore and you can find this in it to any national bookstores around. And for the brush, I'm using the Derwent watercolor brush size number one. Yeah, you can put the water in it, but in this case, I don't have it here, so I'll just have to dip it on my pail. Alright, this floral or flower color. And for the pigments, I'll be using uh, Sunlight Watercolors in Yellow Ochre and in Quinacridone Red. So, yeah, this will be our two pigments in this tutorial. And let's start! So for our first step, I will be dipping my brush to our quinacridone red. Then I will just be creating small letter C's around and this will serve as the middle of our flower. So for this tutorial, I'm actually uh, using or we're trying to make a rose. And uh, I want to achieve the vintage look of this rose. And. Uh, for that one, it still depends on your discussion how much would you like or how much would you like to make it bigger or how many petals would you like to add. But for this tutorial, we're just um, giving out the ways on how you can make a loose floral. And for this time, I'm creating now the uh, medium petals so just have it's okay if you were just starting for the um, dark tones because you can just add water to it and just spread it out to light it so just like what I'm doing now darker shade around uh, the petals around the flower then just add water spread it out to create the petals since this is a loose floral, it's better not to have the paints in too much solid. Like, it's loose. There should be more flow in it. So, if you wanted to make more loose, we'll just have to add more water. And now I'm creating the uh, larger petals. So it's the same process that we did with the medium petals. I'm just putting some green acridone red and forming letter C. Then just add water to make it larger and flowy. We'll just have to repeat the process around to make it balanced. And uh, for my pigments, I actually bought this at Art Nebula. They do have an online store, if I'm not mistaken. It's Art Nebula. P. Oh, I mean, sorry, it's Art Nebula PH. Com. And uh, for each pan, you can actually buy, buy them at Art Bar. And there are some physical stores that you can visit to buy these pigments or this set of pans. Now we are using the yellow ochre, so we'll just have to paint this around the flower as well. So this tutorial, I'm just putting it um, just near the middle part, so it, it gives contrast and saturation to our painting. So we'll just have to spread it out 
add some water then yeah just spread it so as you can see we're just repeating your process we're just adding some use in it Also, whenever I paint, I always make sure that I do have a tissue or a cloth. It's very necessary if you are trying to do with watercolors because you cannot... There are some times that you cannot control the water that you've got on your pail or on your palette. So it's better if you have it beside you so that you can loosen up the water on your brush by wiping it out or by dabbing it on the cloth and this part I'm trying to highlight the uh, middle part of the flower so I'm adding some outlines in the center using the quinacridone red I hope you have learned something from this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is actually my first video and uh, thank you so much for supporting and for watching this. I also do have a Facebook page and an Instagram. I'll put the link below. Thank you for watching.